Hey yo, what is good guys? I'm back here with another video here in the week 5 news report. Sadly, we suffered a loss to the Buffaloes, which is very sad because they're not a very good team. But we're not a very good team either. We're sitting at 3-2, and two, two straight losses, 1-1 one one in conference. So I'll advance the week to our bye week this week. Heading into a bye is probably good after two straight losses. Get set up, get ready for the next game. But... I'm proud of our guys the way we played. We just couldn't pull it off in the end. Some mistakes by Garretson, but I'll sim through this. Uh, advancing. Alright, as I sim through the sim, Recruit has committed to Washington State. Recruit has locked us out and won to UCLA. So we just lost three recruits right there. Very high on our board and we just lost them. Um, so that'll open up some points though. That opened up a lot of points actually. Over a thousand. We'll see what's still up on our board here. Still got that guy up. We're dropping there. Still in the lead here. Do we want this strong safety though? Is the question I had. Two wide receivers at target. Brian Ross is a very good one. I'm gonna try to get back up with this guy. Boom. I'm trying to get this free safety here. Uh, tackle's too far out of reach. Definitely trying to get this corner. There's your recruiting guess for the week. I don't really know what to do. But with the bye week this week, great for us. Um, I'm really happy about going into the bye week, even though we wouldn't do it with a loss. But we're going to go to scores and schedules of last weekend. In the top 25 polls. Number 5, Tennessee pulls out the win. 34-17 over South Alabama. Number 12, North Carolina beating UCF. 44-3. Texas and m barely pulling out the win over Arkansas. 16-12. Houston. 45-17 over UTSA, which puts them to number 6 in the country. Oklahoma, number 1 in the country, beating number 13, at dropping two straight games, Notre Dame, 17-9. West Virginia, pulling out the win over number 23, Oklahoma State, putting them to 3-1. and one. Clemson, number 2 in the country, beating Wake Forest, 35-21. Boston College with an upset, 24-7 over Florida State. Navy getting into the top 25 polls, going 3 0 at number 25, 35 17 over Western Kentucky. TCU trying to climb their way back into the polls. They do 2 and 2, 0 and 1 in conference, but they're at number 25. Georgia dropped 18 after last or after the two losses, but picking up a win, making them at 500, 2 and 2, number 18 in the country. LSU dropped from number 4 to 8 at 4 and 1. Ohio State, number 4 in the country, stays undefeated with. A win over Wisconsin, 21 to 20, and Wisconsin just got into the polls this week. And number 22, Miami, 31-0 over USF. Ole Miss, 35-0 over Alabama, last year's national champion Alabama. Now they are two and two this year. That's their worst start in I don't know how many years, 10 years. Washington State stays undefeated at 5-0 with a 52-21 win over Stanford, number 11 in the country. Washington dropping their first game, 31-14 to Arizona. So in the Pac-12, USC beating Arizona State, kicking them out of the polls. Oregon over California to go 500. I'm curious to see what the Washington State game had. WSU dominated the whole game. Through the air, definitely. On the ground, not so much, but third down conversion, not so much, but they came with a fourth down conversion, and they forced a f interception. And Luke Folk, 35 for 50, 427 yards, no interceptions, six touchdowns. Running the ball, Folk had the most, or had the most attempts, but Wicks had the most yards at 28. Receiving the ball. Martin Jr., 135, receiving one touchdown. Two touchdowns for Sweet, and also two for River Craycraft. Stanford Christ played over Burns today, 14 for 33, 222 yards, three touchdowns. Interception. He did 
very well, except for maybe the completion attempts. But McCaffrey, 102 on the ground on 14 carries. Can't do much. Can't ask for much more than that. He played his butt off. Rector, five receptions for 130 yards. He played very well with one touchdown. In the Washington game, they were tied. Washington goes up in the second quarter. And we'll, or Arizona goes up in the second quarter, 14-7. Then you go to 17 to 7 up by 10. And they try to make a comeback, but Arizona still scores 14 in the fourth to win 31-14. And Arizona really dominated all phases of this football game, only allowing Washington to have 50 passing yards on the day. They did get 156 rushing, but 50 passing yards, 3 for 12 on third down conversions. They really dominated all phases of this football game over highly ranked Washington. Browning, 10 for 22, 50 yards. Running the ball, though, 77 for Gaskin. And receiving 21 from this is one of the worst games we've seen out of them. But a new Solomon 215, two times one interception, 15 for 32. Running the ball, Bradford 30 attempts for 163 yards, two touchdowns. Great game. And a new Solomon also getting 67 yards running, 13 attempts. Receiving just everybody getting their hands on the ball. All right, we're gonna go into the top. 25 polls after week 5. Oklahoma, Clemson, Michigan, Ohio State, Tennessee, Houston, Louisville, LSU, Ole Miss, Texas and m Washington State. Coming into the season, who would have thought Washington State would be in the top 25 polls right now just outside the top 10 and the highest ranked team in the Pac-12. Then you got South Carolina, Notre Dame, Alabama, Florida State. Then you got Washington. Then you got UCLA at 16 17. Georgia, Michigan State, Stanford at 20, dropping after the loss to WSU from 15. TCU, Miami, Oklahoma State, Texas, and Navy. Receiving votes to get in were Wisconsin, even with the loss. Arizona with that big win. Arizona State, even with the loss, trying to get in. But dropping out was Wisconsin, Georgia Tech, Arizona State, and Florida. In the conference standings after week five, Beavers at 1-1 one one in the conference right now. Still sitting third with 0-1 Washington in the conference, 0-2 Stanford in the conference, 0-1 Washington, or California, but 2-0 Washington State in the conference at a top, or in the north of it. At the top of the whole Pac-12, Washington State, then you got Colorado, Arizona, Oregon, USC, Oregon State sitting at number six, Arizona State at seven, Washington eight, UCLA nine, ten, Stanford eleven, Utah, and Cal one and three, zero oh and one in conference at the very bottom. Looking at the Heisman watch, J T Barrett at top of it, one hundred sixty five yards last week, three touchdowns, six carries, ninety one yards. Michigan Devon Smith, sixteen carries, ninety yards, two receptions, twenty one yards in the win over UConn. Leonard Fournette, 123 yards on the ground, 23 carries, and two touchdowns in the loss against Georgia. Shannon Brooks. Beavers faced this Shannon Brooks in the first game of the season. He only had seven carries for 36 yards, 10 interceptions, two total touchdowns, and he's still in this. And Joshua Dobbs, the senior quarterback from Tennessee, 15 carries, 43 yards. 241 through the air, two touchdowns at the bottom of the Heisman watch list. And players of the week in the NCAA. Junior redshirt quarterback Luke Falk of Washington State, 35 for 50, 427 yards, six touchdowns. And Jack Tocho from South Carolina State, two tackles, three assisted tackles, four fumble, and two picks to cornerback senior redshirt. In the Pac-12, Luke Falk and Addison Gillum, seven tackles, two tackles for a loss, a sack, a forced fumble, and interception on defense against the Oregon State Beavers. As this news, one will be a little bit longer because we're going to go over week six games in Oregon State next week. Going up against number 11, Washington State, if they stay at number 11. I will skip the sim for you. As Oregon State gets the recruit, Pat Harden, wide receiver for next year. Going up against the 6-0, number 9, Washington State Cougars this week. But first, we are going to check recruiting after getting Pat Harden. I think that's our first signee this season in week 6 here, I believe. That is our 
But we are going to pick some locks right here with this tackle. We really, really want this guy. We're going to try to get him here. Also pick the lock. Well, actually, let's fully scout this guy first. Do we want this athlete? What is he looking like? He is looking like a quarterback, which with a 78 speed, 88 acceleration, he can escape the pocket very nicely. I think we might unlock him. And he might be a starter next year if he comes to us. All right. Wide receiver, Brian Ross. Also, we to him. Lead there. I can lead him with this guy. I don't really want to pick the lock for Schroeder right now. I don't really want to go after him. Let's try to get him. And Pat Harden is the first signee for Oregon State. Tried to get Gerald Woodson, but he went to Arkansas. But Pat Harden, the first signee for Oregon State this season in recruiting. Okay, as we're going to go over to scores and schedules after week five, this is a double, d double header news week. So week six in the top 25, how did it play out? UCLA over Utah, 3-1 and one on the season, 38-10. Alabama beating Georgia State, bouncing back to become num number 14 in the nation, 38-17. Georgia State suffering their first loss. Navy over Air Force, bumping up to number 20. Now at 4-0, beating Air Force 35-14. Louisville over Temple, 5-0, 28-21. Oklahoma beating TCU at 5-0, the number one team in the country, 31-14. Texas over Iowa State at 4-1, 31-17. Michigan State over Iowa. Michigan State, even with the two losses, still number 18 in the country, 24-7. Miami and Georgia Tech, 42-10, number 21 Miami, going 4-1 on the season now. Number four, Clemson, 52-10 over Syracuse. Tennessee beating Georgia, 28-14 to stay undefeated and stay at number five in the polls. Ole Miss, number 12 at 4-1, and one, beating the 1-4 and four Auburn Tigers, 20-17. Michigan and Minnesota have a tight battle, but Michigan wins 31-28, staying 5-0. and oh. Stanford losing to Washington, 24-17 in overtime, and they will stay at number 16 in the country. Maryland losing to Florida State, the 4-1. and one. Florida State Seminoles beating them 48-10. South Carolina at number 10, staying 5-0 with the win over Kentucky. LSU beating Mississippi State at 5-1, 34-14. Notre Dame beating Arizona State, 31-14. 4-2, number 13 in the country. Kansas State picking up the win over Oklahoma State and becoming the number 19 team in the country at 5-0. Ohio State, number three in the country, beating Northwestern 38-21 in Washington State at 6-0. The big surprise for the Pac-12, 31-27 over Cal. To preview this week's matchups, Oregon State at Washington State. Arizona at USC, Colorado at Arizona State, Sanford at Utah. Oregon at Washington, the game of the week in the Pac-12 is Oregon in Washington. But also last week Oregon beating Colorado 29 to 23 and everyone else was ranked you already saw. And conference standings after that week Washington State still atop with Oregon, Washington, Oregon State, Stanford, California in the north, in the south, UCLA, Arizona, Colorado, USC, Arizona State, Utah, and in the Pac-12, Oregon State sits 8th at 1-1. One one. Alright, thank you guys for watching this doubleheader news video. Please leave a like and subscribe. Leave a comment about what you think. And we are going up against number 9, Washington State this week. Our toughest test yet. Can we pull off the upset in Pullman?